So the city of Austin currently has two water treatment plants in operation. Both have exceeded their design life. One was built in the 1950s and one in the 1960s. And they need to be taken offline periodically for maintenance and upgrades. So having a third water treatment plant allows us to do that. Uh, the city of Austin is growing in the northwest quadrant. And so having this plant up in the northwest side of the city allows us to more efficiently serve that growth. Water treatment plant number four is located on a 90 acre site in northwest Travis County. The water comes as an intake out of Lake Travis through a pump system up to the plant where it goes through no numerous processes through a clarifying and filtering system, through storage system and then finished water pumped out through a seven mile tunneling system through Travis County to serve the community, uh, northwest community of Austin. We currently have the capacity to treat up to 50 million gallons per day at this site but we can expand it up to 300 million gallons per day as the demand grows. Austin is an environmentally conscious city and water treatment plant four being located out here in western Travis County where the preserved system exists for the endangered songbirds, the Jollyville Plateau salamander, and the karsten vertebrates, the bugs that live in the rock. It was critical for the city to put an environmental manager on the ground that could constantly monitor what was going on daily through construction and to coordinate with the contractor so that minimal impacts, if any, would occur. Very important thing for the city of Austin was to be environmentally conscious. So one of the things that they focused on is LEEDS constructed buildings. We have two facilities here which we're all very proud of, the maintenance building and the admin building that are both LEEDS silver certified. Both of the buildings were constructed using local materials to minimize transport and impact on the carbon footprint. A project like this takes years to plan and design. We started construction in 2009, and we just recently started it up in fall of 2014. MWH Constructors, as a construction manager at risk on this project, oversaw over three million hours of man hours throughout the course of the project. When we were in full construction, we had over 350 people working here on a daily basis. We also had an, oh, close to a 90% participation rate of local businesses. But a major focus on managing and, and bringing in uh, small business, women-owned business, and minority-owned businesses in the community, totaling about 25% of the workforce on the project. The thing that makes me feel the warmest and strongest and best about this project was the team of people that MWH brought in to do the project. I couldn't be prouder to be part of the community that built this, part of the team from MWH that built it. It's really exciting to know that we've provided a piece of infrastructure that is so valuable to the city of Austin and is gonna support its growth for years to come.